I always try to lead by example at first. But as I became an older player, you know, you have to be more vocal. So, I mean, it just depends. I mean, I think that's one thing about being a good leader is just kind of sensing uh, the environment. Obviously, bringing the – I kind of use this example of, like, being a thermostat or thermometer. You know what I mean? Like, being a leader, you know, a thermostat controls the temperature of the room. And a thermometer just adjusts based upon, right, if it's hot, you're going to be hot. If it's cold, you're going to be cold. So I try to be a thermostat guy by being the same every single day and kind of just bringing that uh, – kind of creating an environment for everybody. Uh, but also, you have to do everything. You have to do all the little things. You know, you can't lead and you can't be a great leader unless you're doing all the little things as well if you want to get everybody else to follow you. And looking at the Saints, uh, last one for you. When we talk about readiness, of course, readiness for week one, what makes a team ready to win week one? Um, I just think that, you know, it's, it's, it all starts with the things that you do every single day, the things that you've done during training camp. Uh, I know our guys are ready. Um, but going out there and just saying ready to win, you can be as ready as you want, but you have to go out there and execute. And I think that's the main thing. We're obviously preparing to win, and we're doing all the things that we need to win. But bottom line is going to come down to executing our game plan, the things that we're practicing now on game day. That's what's going to determine who's going to win or lose. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Well, you, you definitely always want to get, you know, get off to a good start. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's a 17-game 17, 17 season, and uh, we're going to play a lot of games. But, obviously, every team wants to go out there and win week one. Um, so, I don't think – I don't look at any number statistics about, you know, how many – you know, are we going to win the rest of the year if we don't win week one or not? Are we going to go to the playoffs? I don't really think that's going to be a determining factor. But starting out week one is very important for us as a team, for sure good like normal to you it's uh, yeah. normally with LCL it's a lot of like opening up your knee left or right so has that kind of been the challenge of just getting more comfortable with that I would just say I mean it's been here and there but you know I just keep doing what I'm doing is it still a, is it like a pain management thing at this point or just trying to ramp up without aggravating it yeah um, I mean I just do what I can and Todd and Braves tell me what I can and can't do so that's what I do uh, you had to ask Braves all that man <laughs> as far as the, the mental approach to this being a season, I mean, I'm, I'm in the same place that I was in January. I mean, I feel good, I'm positive, and I'm just ready to get out there and play. Is that in your film study? Obviously, Lattimore's a top level corner. What have you seen him? You know, he's a you know really good veteran. Um, you know, they got a lot of guys on that defense that are really good. You know, we just got to go out there and play our brand of football. Having a veteran like Chris Moore, like DeAndre Hopkins, in the room with you, form study and those type of things, how much has that benefited you? Um, it's benefited a lot, you know. Uh, my dog right here. Um, no, they help out a lot, you know, just the little details on what movements that the corner's giving you, what leverage is going to be in when you see those movements. You know, and that's just stuff that I take home and study. Oh, man, I just try to come in and – be the same guy, be who I am, uh, be authentic. And uh, obviously, everybody else showed that. And I always felt like I had leadership qualities just from as far as I've grown up and things I've been through. So um, it was pretty it was pretty a uh, cool moment, honestly, when I found out. Because we were at practice, and he told us, like, right before we started practicing. And honestly, like, it was just a, a surreal moment for me. And it definitely was an honor, something I don't take lightly. So. What, uh, I mean, first year with this team, Oh man, it means a lot. Um, you know, like I said, I try to lead by my by my actions, but also, you know, try to uh, impact the guys and, and reach them where they are and meet them where they are. Uh, like I said, just try to be authentic, be myself. That's naturally kind of how I am. Just a caring person. I talk to everybody. I'm a actually I, in San Francisco. I used to call me the team therapist because I used to literally be the person. Anybody got an issue? You talking about something? You're usually talking to Z. So. Um, and that's just kind of always who I've been. Uh, growing up, for me, I was really, like, reserved, really quiet. And I always felt like people didn't really, like, understand me or give me a chance to, like, you know, open up or get get to talk about myself until I started playing football. So I think that, uh, for me, I'm real big on trying to, like, get to interact with guys. And Rabel talks about that a lot, uh, getting to know your teammates. So that's just kind of what I've always done. And then you pair that, you pair that to your position that you play. Like, how much does that make it more natural and easier for you to just come in and, you know, do the things that you guys mm -hmm. do? I mean, I think anybody can be a leader. Uh, obviously, like, just cliche football, the middle linebacker is usually the one that you see as, like, 
the leader of the defense. But, I mean, we got leaders all over the place, and I think um, it's pretty dope because obviously you got seven guys get voted captain. Um, but I, I promise you, it's probably guys, there's so many guys on this team that maybe they did get a vote, maybe they didn't, that still lead in their own way. So and I respect it the same because that's the guy, kind of guy I was in San Francisco. I wasn't the team captain. I was always on the leadership committee, but was never really like given that team captain role, but was still a leader in my own right. And there's so many guys in this room that do the same thing. You guys obviously work together throughout Kansas preseason games. I'm curious for yourself just to see how it kind of comes together starting on Sunday I mean, shoot, just as curious as you. So obviously, um, everything that you, you guys seen and everything that we've done up until this point, um, we're heading in the direction that we want to be. Obviously, you got to go put it on tape on Sundays for it to actually matter. So obviously, there's a lot of things that the Saints do, um, just the different personnel groups. Obviously, Taysom Hill, the receivers, the, the backs. Like, I think they have a lot of uh, good players and. It's going to be a good matchup for us, for sure. These new players that got a new quarterback in Derek Carr, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, how much does that throw another wild card? I mean, Derek Carr is a great quarterback. Uh, obviously, it's going to add just that much more. Um, and you got to kind of just be ready for everything. You know, it's, it's a new quarterback, so he might bring different things. You, know, you never know what, he's gonna, what, what they're going to do. It's week one. They can might run out there and be straight receivers for all we know. Like you have no clue. So I think you gotta kinda like know yourself, be true to your rules and be ready for anything. You think you caught their attention a little bit in the in the preseason game? In the preseason, yes sir. You know, it was a <laughs> it was a good game versus them, but um, you know, these are my teammates now, so you know, I'm not gonna go too deep down that road. You look at your production in twenty one and then twenty two. How much do you think this game here will allow you to get back to what you did in 21? Man, the way that they play football here, they let their guys go. They let them rush, play off each other. So, you know, I'm excited to be back in this type of scheme. And, um, you know, anxious to see what it brings to my season this year. So then looking at Coach Crowe and Coach Lucas, you know, having to get to work with them, have you seen anything that's different from what you've seen before as far as drill work? Um, you know, get off physicality, violence, that's what they preach a lot. And, um... Just playing fast, you know, effort is a big thing here also. So I feel like that transmits through the whole locker room. And, you know, especially being out in practice the first day on Monday, um, it definitely showed itself. So. Does it hurt some that, that you can be a good football player and the system can be the thing that prevents you from having success or sticking? No, nah, you know, I think honestly at the end of the day it's just football, man. You know, whether I'm in a four-point, three-point, uh, three or four scheme, you know, you just got to get acclimated fast. It's always about change. Change is inevitable in this league. So, you know, just how quick you can pick up on it. And, you know, honestly, like I said, I'm excited. What do you think about the guys in the room as far as, as, far as Harold, Harden, Rashad, and even the young guy, Caleb Weaver, what do you think about those guys? Uh, Caleb Murphy, I should say. What do you think about those guys and how you fit in with that per, their personality? Um... Being in the group, meeting this, it's been pretty cool. You know, I can tell they're goofy, they're laid back, relaxed, but they also like to rush the passer. So, you know, that's um, something I'm excited to do with them. You know, Caleb, I know he led the NFL in sacks in the preseason, so that's exciting to be around him, knowing he's a young guy, undrafted or seventh round guy, and um, he's made his stamp with the team. So, excited to just build the bond with those guys and keep it rolling. Sorry if you've been asked this before, but. Uh, how much you feel like what you did for the Bears in the preseason game against the Titans in the opener kind of showed them what kind of player you were? Um, it was a good game versus, uh, you know, my teammates, now, I guess I should say. But, um, you know, I think it was just a matter of playing it, playing football, leaving it all out there and, you know, seeing where the cards lay. And now I'm excited to be able to play with these guys.